10 Coolest Spaceships in Science Fiction. This is where the fun begins. In this video, you'll see ships based on brilliant concepts, even within science fiction. Well, I see it. Oh, this is going to be easy. I don't think so, Ewan McGregor. This competition will be hard. I have a bad feeling about this. 1. Astro Megaship Power Rangers Long ago in 1998, villains were celebrating their victory over the Turbo Rangers. The powers, they're gone. What the bad guys didn't expect was that the X-Turbos would follow them through space and accidentally sneak into the Astro Megaship, the spaceship of the lonely Red Space Ranger Andros. Who are you? We're the Power Rangers. They don't get along at first, but eventually team up. The Astro Megaship serves as their base, but it's also a key element in their battles as it transforms into the Astro Megazord. While its giant robot form is cool, the Astro Megaship can travel faster than light flying between solar systems. Besides, it comes with DECA, a computer that monitors the ship's systems and speaks 3,000 languages, although sometimes it doesn't know when to shut up and therefore... This button turns her voice off. How convenient. 2. Millennium Falcon Star Wars Watch this. Watch what? Well, its hyperdrive hasn't proven to be the most reliable, but this legendary Karelian freighter can travel 0.5 past light speed. It looks even more impressive with CGI. Wow! It can also fly up to 652 miles per hour in atmosphere. As long as you have a trained pilot, of course. At 111 feet long, 82 wide and 28 high, it can smuggle up to 100 tons of whatever you want. Yes, the track record of this ship isn't the best after being owned by smugglers and scammers. It was gambled, stolen, and wanted by everyone. It carries two quad laser cannons to get you out of any trouble. I got him! Bring him! This spaceship has charisma and style, especially in the hands of Han Solo. You really have a bad for the Falcon, don't you? It's mutual, trust me. She belongs with me. <laughs> 3. Pegasus Battlestar Galactica This is the Battlestar Pegasus to the ship claiming to be the Galactica. Please respond. Imagine that your entire race has been wiped out, your planet destroyed, and all that's left is a ship. Now imagine that, after a season and a half floating in the vastness of space, you meet another ship from your planet, even bigger and more modern. This is Pegasus. It's 1,100 miles long and can travel faster than light. Being a Battlestar, it's ready for combat with 34 assault cannons, missiles, and can also release small Viper fighters. Sadly, the Pegasus spaceship didn't make it past Season 3, but its sacrifice not only saved Galactica, the main starship, but also destroyed two ships that were more powerful than Pegasus itself. 4. USS Enterprise NCC-1701D Star Trek I will not sacrifice the Enterprise. I didn't know the Enterprise had a melee attack. Well, looks like it doesn't have one. It's hard to talk about the Enterprise, especially since there are like 10, and honestly, they're all the same. Perhaps I'm the weirdo for expecting that a saga with 10 series and 8 movies would have some originality. But fear not, I'll talk about the one I think is the coolest, the Enterprise-D. This starship can achieve Warp 10, a concept from the Star Trek universe known as Infinite Speed. On top of that, it's at least twice as big as all of its previous versions at 2,108 feet long and 640 high. Lastly, if it were to fight, it has 12 phaser arrays and, if you're a big annoyance, it carries 250 photon torpedoes. Yes, 250 of those. Engage. 5. Leviathan Starcraft This 4.2-mile critter bears tens of thousands of other critters 
that just devour everything. Does this super bug seem insignificant to you? The over 100 worlds that have been already destroyed surely thought the same. I'm surprised you haven't tried to escape. Escape? <laughs> this mega insect can travel through space in temperatures near absolute zero and cross warp gateways to move faster than light. It's so big and massive that missiles don't leave a single scratch on it, and radars can't see inside. Besides, it launches cocoons with the voracious Zerg that will devour the first thing they see. As if that wasn't enough, it has giant tentacles and can fire a powerful bioplasmid discharge that will destroy anything it touches. Its presence is the worst thing that can happen to your planet or galaxy. And keep in mind that talking about the Zerg means endless waves of critters. Critters and more critters. 6. Elysium Elysium I've shown you spaceships that can protect or exterminate mankind, but what's coming is paradise. In this film, Earth went to hell. By 2154, this beautiful planet you're standing on will be overpopulated, polluted, and people will suffer from all kinds of diseases and genetic defects, which is why millionaires will move to Elysium a giant 37.2 mile diameter ring that constantly rotates to generate artificial gravity so people can live comfortably in luxury. It houses forests and lakes within its 1.24 miles wide. If there's any problem, you can call some pretty ruthless police robots. But what's most impressive is that no matter what illness you have, these capsules will cure you. Here's a spoiler. Even though the end of the film is beautiful and inclusive, now that everyone can get in, it looks like Elysium will also go to hell. Before moving on, it's time for you to subscribe and click on the bell. Legend has it that if you do, they'll let you live in Elysium. Imagine it. Let's continue with the next one on the list. 7. Prometheus Alien Wait, don't close the video before listening to me. After showing you all the above, you'll surely say what's special about this vessel. Well, have you thought about how close mankind is to space exploration? This film takes place in 2093. It's Christmas. Need the holidays to show time, it's still moving. Of course, because in Prometheus, you can get into a hypersleep chamber so you won't age for how long space travels actually take. This starship was manufactured by Wayland Corp, has a cost of a trillion dollars and bears four plasma engines that allow it to go faster than light. I'm going to make a short pause to say that traveling faster than light is valid, because otherwise, there will be no point in traveling between solar systems. Let's continue. The Prometheus carries light and heavy vehicles for ground exploration, very realistic and cool spacesuits and weapons, just in case. 8. DS-1 Orbital Battle Station Star Wars all right, Ewan McGregor, what does Star Wars have for me? No, nothing too fancy. That's right, I tried to confuse you with the name. It's the first Death Star. A gigantic space station. Behind us for droids. Yeah, who needs a small ship when you have a giant 74.5 mile diameter sphere with a planet destroying super laser? But if its target isn't a celestial body, or it's attacked by other ships, the Death Star has over 15,000 laser cannons and can deploy over 7,000 TIE Fighters. I love it! Nothing more iconic than that sound. Moreover, it can host 600,000 troops to take over any planet and around half a million crew members to keep this moon-sized ship fully operating. It really is an invincible fortress. Unless, you know, you're the chosen one by the Force. 10. Do you need something from the other side of the galaxy? Planet Express will help you! I designed it myself. Let me show you some of the different lengths of wire I use. Uh, maybe another day. But what makes this ship special? These allow my starship to travel between galaxies in mere hours. Wow, that's speed. But why dark matter and not a common fuel? The ship stays where it is, and the engines move the universe around it! Wait, what? That's right. It also has a computer that talks, 
but can be quite cruel. Oops, sorry. <laughs> By the way, the dark matter the ship needs comes from Nibbler's butt, the crew's pet. Aww, I'll call him Nibbler. 9. Borg Cube, Star Trek. Resistance is futile. Just look at Picard's face. Sorry if you're a fan of the Enterprise, but remember that a single Borg Cube beat up 40 ships of the United Federation of Planets in the Battle of Wolf 359. This amazing starship is a giant 1.86 mile super dice, which is ridiculously faster than light and has decentralized key systems, so it works even if 78% of the ship is inoperable. Besides, it has any kind of known and unknown weapons. As if that wasn't enough already, the most frustrating thing about this cube is that its shields adapt to enemy weaponry to repel it. By the way, for me, the Battle of Sector 001 is an amazing script. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave it as homework. Now, if Galactica is mankind's last hope, the next spaceship is the galaxy's last hope or its demise. 10. Installation 00. Halo. Those ships over there are 3.3 miles long. However, I won't talk about those shrimps, but what's underneath? Yes, it's a spaceship. At 79.2 thousand miles in diameter, Installation 00, better known as the Ark, is 10 times larger than Earth. It's located outside the galaxy and has a planetoid as core, used to obtain resources for the construction of the halos. What are the halos? Well, they're giant rings of 6,214 miles in diameter, capable of killing any organic being within a range of 25,000 light years. With seven halos, which can be activated simultaneously from the Ark, humanity tries to save the Milky Way from the Flood, a parasite that infects any life form. Actually, the plan is that the Ark eradicates all life that the Flood cannot infest them. A true ultimate weapon. That last spaceship left me speechless. If you want more of Trendmax, I leave you two amazing videos here. See you next time.